Hey YouTube, gonna make another video. Um, gonna basically make this one over my trailer I just built. This is a, what used to be a camper um, frame. So I actually picked this up out of a scrap yard or junkyard basically guy had a bunch bunch of junk, trailers, cars, whatnot, been sitting out there uh, in a pasture for quite a while. Um, pick this up, I'll post some pictures of it before. Um, I'll throw those in right now. So pretty rough shape, but uh, was definitely um, still a decent uh, start or frame, I guess. So what I ended up doing, um, built the bunks to put on here. Um, it's pretty simple. It's like two inch square tubing, some um, angle iron, and then the boards. I want to I want to put carpet on the boards. Just haven't had a chance yet to get that done. I did have to put new tires on it. That's probably the most expensive part of this. Um, these tires were like $65, somewhere in there. Uh, they're 205, 75, 15s, high runs. Um, these wheels, I'm not sure what these tires or these rims came off of. They were on the trailer. Um, the tires that were on it just were dry rotted and really rough. So, But axles were good. Um, bearings all looked really good, re-greased them. And yeah, I mean, pretty pretty decent so was able to get all four of my skis on here um, again I believe it was a camper trailer like a 15 footer uh, you got your battery tie down you can see where the propane line um, ran through there where I ended up running my wiring for the lights uh, just a lot of the stuff that was on it had some runners um, some angle iron where probably the tanks or whatever uh, used to hang so that's pretty pretty sure that's what it was um, at some point so um, like I said, I had to wire all the lights up, get a new lens. The actual lights that were on it were in decent shape. I uh, painted the trailer, um, just rattle canned it, and then, like I said, built all the bunks, which, again, is pretty pretty simple. Uh, probably the hardest part is just making sure you have the measurements correct. Um, right now, I may end up doing something different with the, the way I'm tying it down. I may try to mount a winch of some sort. Um, I'm not real sure yet. There's not a whole lot of room. In here, I, I mean, I can slide this back a touch um, and still be okay, but yeah, for the most part, um, I want to weld some tie downs, uh, grind this up, and put some tie downs, some places to put my eye or some your hooks on the back. Um, but yeah, overall, I mean, can't complain much. I mean, it works, it does exactly what, what I wanted it to do, so um, and I've got plenty of room to turn whatnot I don't have to worry about uh, getting into the back of my truck or anything so but yeah thought I'd kind of show that so if you guys are looking at uh, making a four place trailer you could you could do like a 16 foot utility trailer something like that um, and do the do the same thing if you can find one cheap again I, I looked over marketplace was looking at boat trailers different things um, to build one and happened to had a buddy that uh, knew a guy type thing and um, their guy had some old enclosed trailers and other trailers that were just rotting in the, in the pasture. So um, that's how I ended up with this. But yeah, if you guys have any questions on it, again, uh, the measurements are probably the hardest part. Just making sure you space everything correctly. Um, have enough room. You can see between those two skis and also keeping enough room up on the neck where you're not getting in the back of your truck. Uh, and then spacing here. And you guys can see the ZXI is not quite as long, so basically I had to base everything off of the Sea-Doo, but and then have enough space here in the middle um, where they're not rubbing each other. So uh, these actually, like I said, turned out really well. Um, again, the one thing I'd like to do is maybe put some eyelets back here for my um, uh, tie downs. Again, for like the ZXI and the ones that have hooks, this works really well. Um, for this sea it's a little more difficult because of the way it doesn't have the, the, the eyelets here on the back where where somebody, I, I'm assuming they probably were where the steps at now, maybe is where they would have went, but um, not real sure. So but yeah, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask, I'll try to help you out. Um, just thought I'd throw this up there, really simple. And it 
serves its purpose really well. So um, got some more videos coming. I will we'll be posting another one on the um, 650 stand-up. Um, yeah, that took it out, didn't run. The mistake that it was all on me. Uh, the jet ski should have ran. So I'll go over that in another video and a uh, video coming soon on the GTX as well. We'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.